guys kwaba 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 welcome back to my youtube channel my name is boa if you're not familiar with my youtube so i thought i would give you guys like a bit of an update in terms of like my natural hair journey so i cut my hair three months ago and this is the growth so far yeah so this is the growth so far so far it's been growing a lot of people have been telling me that hey girl your hair is growing so fast so I mean, I guess it's a compliment. <laughs> I take it, I'm like, okay, why not? I'm gonna do it like a mini sleek down look just to um, see how it's gonna look on me because I feel like I need something fresh. So a lot of what I've been doing, to be quite honest, is just like um, shampooing my hair every week, once a week, and just like deep conditioning it and applying like, scalp treatment like yeah like scalp treatment oils and stuff like that to my hair and just really like caring for it and just applying water that's what i've been doing not a lot of things to be quite honest um even though like i cut my hair and stuff you still need to take care of your hair you still need to give it the basic love which is water oils and just something a cream a cream to keep it moisturized so that's been my daily routine having short hair has been really beneficial because once i wake up <laughs> i just comb it and that's it and sometimes i leave i put in leave in conditioner not all the time i find that with my hair being short um the leave-ins tend to clog my scalp really fast. So I try not to apply like leave-ins a lot in my hair. Yeah, I try not to put too much leave-ins in my hair as it tends to clog and it starts to flake, right? So that's something different that I've been learning about my hair is just a little product basically goes a long way. And so far, what I've done is I've applied like a scalp treatment and I'm basically combing it. And what that scalp treatment does for my hair is it basically um, helps with the itch. It promotes growth and all that good stuff. Because honestly, when I had my long hair, I did suffer uh, dry scalp, itchy scalps, and stuff like that. So this um, treatment has been really beneficial. Next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply my gel and. and just kind of like you know keep sponging it the thing that i want to add is i normally don't recommend for you to cut your hair to be quite honest because one thing that i notice or if you do end up cutting your hair by yourself um do go get a shape up because I cut my hair by myself and it's growing, it's growing different ways, you get what I mean? So I'm experiencing different curl um, patterns, but I'm also experiencing different growth uh, length, right? So you can tell here is growing more than here and here and the back is also growing as well. So it's just different length, you know, that's one thing that I've noticed and it can be frustrating because once i want to start braiding my hair it's gonna be hard because you're growing in different stages quite what i do i just put my hand in it just to kind of like you know and i started using this edge control it's so good trust me it's at the bottom and I just basically apply it to my edges and I'm gonna use a brush. All right, y'all, so I wanted to give you like a better, closer look. So this is the final look. 
I honestly love it. This is like my go-to uh, ready to go. And it's just so simple yet so youthful. And it's just so like, you know, it just gives me that like 